All right, guys, let's find out what the difference really is from the diesel and the ERX. All right, let's do this. Oh, you can feel that for sure. You're already doing a lot better than most people <laughs> since you got the engine drive shafts that were just set up like. Now. Not too bad, not too bad. You ready? Oh, I'm ready. Let's Pete, do this. You're up. All right, guys, we're going to go ahead and test out the Hyper Truck ERX now. We just got into the diesel. The diesel was a little bit of a bumpy ride. Let's go ahead and find out what the experience really is all about. This tablet up here is really the, the infotainment that you're gonna get about our system. We're looking at state of charge of the battery, speed of the truck, which is also gonna be shown on the dash, how much horsepower our e-axles are putting out, uh, as well as how much regen braking. And then we also have how much horsepower the generator under the hood is producing to charge the battery packs. Yeah, let's do this. Time to get into what all is about the ERX. Time to have the experience. Let's find on out. So right now we're in hybrid mode, you can see right here, which means the truck is gonna do it all on its own, kicking the generator on and off. One of the things we'll have in production is actually something we developed for our hybrid product, which is called geozoning, which is really our way of being able to look at where the truck is and what areas it's going into. And so if we know you're going into a city, we could top off the batteries before you get there. When you hit the city limits, turn it into EV mode and then you're driving zero tailpipe emissions in those areas and zero noise. Did you hear that? Or well, not hear that is a better question? I'm meditating in here, man. It's night and day, right? I mean, yeah, they... definitely. One thing that we underestimate, frankly, is fleets have given us feedback saying, I'm gonna be able to retain drivers and or recruit new drivers because of this vehicle. Because yeah. uh, drivers don't wanna drive a diesel anymore. We're actually merging onto the highway at highway speeds, right? Versus normally your truck's driving like 20 miles an hour slower than, the, than a diesel coming on, or than a car's passing you. So I gotta ask the question, you know, you guys have gone through a couple of these test drives now. So how has the feedback gone so far? Honestly, it's exceeded our expectations. Like fleets have gotten in the truck and they're like, yeah, I can, I can see how this is gonna be a game changer. Just like going from a manual transmission to an automated transmission, same sort of thing. Moving to electrics, just a whole nother leap forward in, in trucking. So a little bit of a trick question, but in the last 30 seconds, did you notice anything change in the vehicle? No, I didn't feel the kick. I was looking for the kick. So the generator's on now. It's in a warm up mode, uh, and then in another 30 seconds or so, it'll actually kick into starting to charge up the battery pack. The smoothness of the vehicle, the lack of shifting, and then the lack of noise is just totally different than a diesel truck. All right, Pete, you gonna Let's give us a, uh, a launch? Let's get a little thump thump. Y'all ready? Let's go. Let's do Whoa. this thing. Hey! <laughs> That's what it's all about. No more, no more need to worry about the shifting. <laughs> right now we're in EV mode. Uh, when the battery depletes down to about 50% state of charge, that generator will automatically kick on and it will start charging the batteries back up. And then when it gets to about 65 state of charge, 65% state of charge, the generator will kick off and we'll be in EV mode again. The whole time, all of your power is just coming from the E-axles, right? There's mm -hmm. no connection between the generator and the axles. All right, so the, the driving of this truck is almost identical to the diesel. So you've got your uh, uh, brake release here and then you're shifting it into drive down here. There was the second and you didn't even feel it. That's pretty impressive. Not bad for a semi truck, huh? I, I thought it would be smooth. You know, you hear about it being smooth. Everybody drives in it being smooth. It's another thing driving it. This, 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 this is something that I could enjoy. It just comes to life. You can see why fleets are so excited about it. It's like when you drive like a, 
a 95 Ford pickup <laughs> to an, uh, a brand new Raptor. <laughs> the actual grab of the transmission now because of the electric is just so perfect. Like you, you feel the power back immediately. Mm -hmm. If you wanted to power through, you would just power on through. Everyone good? Oh, we're good. For the, the price that everyone's looking at for the full electric range mm -hmm. and where you guys are stepping into the ball game, I mean, it's not even comparable right now. And it, it's just going to be way too hard for anybody to really, the majority of companies can't, let's just be honest, change their complete fleet right. overnight. Yeah, and the big thing with fleets is they look at the total cost of ownership, right? So most fleets lease their trucks. And so when they're thinking about buying a new technology, they want to know over the, the five years, the seven years that I own this asset, is it going to cost more or less than a diesel truck? Yeah. And the biggest game changer for us is that we're buying a fuel, we're buying natural gas that is about a dollar per gallon right now versus diesel prices. And I know the last couple of weeks have been crazy, but you know, <laughs> they're, they have been around $3 a gallon. I mean, I've seen some numbers like four fifty five dollars right now, but I mean, that's where, while our truck does cost more up front, it actually costs you less over the time of operating it, which we, I don't think you can say the same for other alternative fuel vehicles. Yeah. So there you go. There's your first there uh, electric semi truck experience. The hyper truck ERX couldn't be better. I really, I'm impressed. <laughs> On this right here, just right off the back, like I could keep it at five and not worry about anything. When majority of the times, if I see a truck next to me and it's going five miles an hour, I get away from that thing. I'm like, it's like driving a sedan. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that's that's something else. A whole different experience. All right, so put on the brake. Yep, put on the brake. Release the parking brake by pushing in, and then drive. Oh, Sierra doesn't stand a chance. <laughs> this, this is it right here. And the coolest part is, is like all this we're doing right now, zero t zero tailpipe emissions at all. Right, generators off. And then even when that generator kicks on, if we refuel the tanks with renewable natural gas, sure. it can actually be net carbon negative. The cool thing is we can produce electricity through that generator for cheaper and cleaner than your average grid electricity. It's world-class difference. No, it, Literally. I mean, it truly has the ability to revolutionize trucking, right? It's a, a, a game-changing step forward. Put it this way. I, I know you smile a lot, Thomas, but I, I know now why you know you're why. smiling. <laughs> well, I know why, at least. I, I, I've definitely been blown away by the actual true drive experience. Um, you know, I think there's going to be plenty of people that can make an electric truck, but there's going to be only a couple of people that are going to make it at this cost and this experience. Um, just the drivers alone, I think, are going to come into the industry, and it could be because of this truck. And so I think you should definitely be proud of that, Thomas. Appreciate it.